Hi friends, welcome to Code Practicing. In this video, we will practice how to compare two databases using MySQL Workbench. It is always advisable to compare schemas before performing database synchronization so that you will get an idea of all the changes made in the databases. Okay. I have already covered in my previous videos on synchronizing with any source and synchronized model to synchronize two database in MySQL Workbench. The link for both the videos will provide in the description section. So do check that as well. So let's start the process of compare schema in MySQL Workbench. Uh, so that uh, for that we will go to our MySQL Workbench and connect our databases. Okay, so this is our local instance and uh, and our RDN instance. In local instance, we have already uh, a, this is our local instance in which we have our, our test DB and uh, this is our, our AWS RDS instance in our live server in which we have a test DB. Okay. We will compare these two instance from local instance and AWS instance, server instance. Okay. So let's check. Uh, as we will check what is the structure of our look uh, HDB in a local local host. Okay. So we have tables one, two, three, four tables. One, two, three, four, five store procedures and two functions okay let's check that in a server instance the structure of a test db one two three four four table one two three four five five store procedures and two functions okay so means the basic structure of both the uh, test db mm, local and in our server are same Okay, so, so as of now, we have not not changed any structure of our uh, local instance or our address instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we will compare these two uh, schemas from local first and our server or live server. Okay, and check what uh, what our compare schema generates the report for this uh, two identical databases. Okay, so for that to compare the schema, we have, uh, we have to open that compare schema window. For that, uh, if you go to database and check uh, this, but hmm, the documentation is a little bit confusing. Means it says uh, you will find the compare schema in the database but it's not that look to open this compare schema we have any two option to open that so for that we have first option is go to file file main menu then click on new model this will open the ER diagram okay the model tab and then you can go to database now the compare schema is enabled over here. Okay. So what's the first one, uh, option? Go to file menu, main menu, then click on new model. This will open the MySQL model. And then after that, you can go to database and compare schema. Okay. That's the next option. Close this. Okay. Next option is go to database and do the reverse engineering. Click on reverse engineer. And after clicking this, okay, we don't want to do a reverse engineering of our database, so close this. The purpose of clicking on reverse engineer is to open MySQL model tab. Okay, now we go to database and synchronize the compressing schema. Is enabled now. Okay, let's take 
The second method is go to database, click on reverse engineer, and open it will open a reverse engineer window. You have to close that and again we will go to database and the compass schema is enabled. So we have seen how uh, how we can enable our compass schema window uh, compass schema using two methods okay from file the model and second one database and then reverse engineer okay so now we will compare our schema from uh, local host and our live server okay so click on compare schema uh, first thing is select database for update so database to take update from we'll keep this as a live database server uh, destination live database server we will not uh, select model schemata if we are directly comparing our live server data so after checking this continue source database we will select our store database first as our RDS instance. Okay. Continue store connection. We will select our uh, local instance admin. Okay. This one local instance. Continue. This will take some time as it will retrieve the, all the schemas from both source and target. Okay, uh, execution complete successfully. So click on continue. Okay, select schema from source and target to be compared. Okay, the so source schema, this is our, uh, we will select our test DB from our source and target schema from uh, test DB from target schema. Okay, so click on continue. Retrieve and reverse engineer schema objects. Retrieve source object from selected schema. Okay. It's retrieving the schema from uh, schemas. Okay. It's completed. Retrieval complete successfully. So click on continue. Yes. This is the report generated by our uh, compare schema. Means uh, it's giving blank because. Uh, as of now, we don't, uh, we have not changed any any structure of our uh, uh, databases. So it's giving no difference. So now we will we will do we will make some changes to our test uh, DB in localhost, and then again we will compare both the databases and see what's compare schema generate a report for that okay so for this i first have to close this okay uh, close this as well uh, to a local host dash db we will update the, our product table okay just um okay We have added one column that is product modified date time in our product table. Okay. Yes, we have done this. And in, in the stored procedure, uh, we can we will delete one stored procedure this one delete product okay we'll drop this we'll create one store procedure get user tbt okay okay and update one store procedure So 
we have uh, updated our store procedure. Okay. Means we have deleted one store procedure, created one store procedure, and adapted one store procedure. Uh, and now, you know, if, uh, in function, we will delete. Delete one store uh, one function. Okay. Update one uh, update this function. Okay. We have deleted one function, updated one function, and we'll create one function. As fan get new ID. Okay. This is a new function we have created. Okay. Uh, we have deleted one function, we have updated one function, and we have created one new function under HDB. We have deleted one store procedure, updated one store procedure, and created one store procedure under store procedure uh, under HDB. Okay. And uh, under table, we had <coughs> modified our product DB, means we have added one column. Okay. We'll just uh, Create one table as well. Okay. Get user okay. means we have created one uh, table and under HDB. Means now we have uh, updated our test DB structure in a local host, and now we will compare this uh, test DB from local host with the uh, RDS instance uh, test DB. Okay, so first thing we will go to we will have to open. A compare schema window again we have the two two method to open the compare the schema method, uh, window for that uh, we go to file new model this will open the master model then go to database and click on compare schema okay Uh, compare and look for difference in catalog. We will select live database server uh, in, the, in the destination live database server. Click on continue. Source database. Select a source database as our PDF AWS RDS instance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Click on continue. Target database. Select a local instance. Okay. We can continue. Retrieve source and target schema names. Yes, it's done. Execution completed successfully. Continue. Select schema from source and target to be compared. Okay. We'll select test DB from source schema. Test DB from our target schema. Click on continue. Okay. Retrieve and reverse engineer schema object. Okay. It's retrieving objects from both source and target. Just wait a minute. Let's retrieve the computer successfully. Click on continue. Okay. This is the report generated from. Uh, Compare schema. Okay, it's gives the total uh, changes made by as for in our HDB in local host. Okay, so let's check what are the changes we had made. HDB user activity was created. Yes, we had created user activity. Okay, uh, then the product was modified is yes, we had modified our product db uh, in that uh, we have added column product modified date time yes this means that 
table is uh, table report was perfect it's proper now and we'll check the routing routing structure we have what is saying that friend exist was dropped dropped yes we have uh, updated this fn exist okay fn exist for so my well first drops that uh, exist uh, function and again creates uh, create that function okay so for fn exist function exist was created this means that this is proper uh, get user was dropped yes this is a store procedure we had uh, updated means again uh, this, uh, this is dropped and it it was uh, it was dropped and it is created again that user was created this in store procedure also proper uh, a function delete value this is uh, this function we have uh, deleted from our local host so it's uh, dropped it's proper delete product was dropped means we have deleted our one store procedure in localos so if this is proper uh, function exist was created yes we have seen this yes we have created one uh, function under uh, localhost mm. this means the function get new id this is newly created and a new function a uh, new store procedure get user activity was created okay means it's give the overall changes made by us in our local uh, in a local db okay. so you can save this file copy to clipboard uh, for, for checking with the database okay thanks for watching thanks for watching this video and i hope this will help you and I will see you in the next video.